Edward is one of the older engines on the island of Sodor. He is a mixed traffic engine, which means sometimes he pulls coaches and sometimes he pulls cars. He's not the smallest engine. But he's not that big either. Some of the bigger engines like to tease Edward, especially Gordon. It's a shame you're such an old engine, Edward. You're not very reliable. What do you mean? You know, breaking down all the time. I haven't broken down in ages. Oh, really? <laughs> Sir Topham Hatt knows that Edward is a really useful engine. And that is why he's given him his own branch line, the line that runs to Brendam Docks. One day, Gordon was pulling the express on Gordon's Hill when he thought he saw a red flag blowing beside the track. Oh, no! That's a danger signal. I'd better stop. That's not a danger signal. Those are red. It was a pair of pants that had blown off a washing line. <laughs> then there was trouble. Gordon couldn't start up again on the steep hill with his long, heavy express coaches. Oh. <laughs> Edward had just arrived at Wellsworth Station when the station master stopped him. Gordon is stuck on his hill. He needs a banker engine to give him a push. <sighs> Not again. And he says I'm the one that's unreliable. Honestly. Gordon was waiting very impatiently for Edward when Emily came along. <laughs> Having a rest, are you, Gordon? I wish Edward would get here and give me a push before any more engines see me. Oh, dear, Gordon. <laughs> I see you've got stuck on your hill again. It wasn't my fault, Thomas. There were some red pants by the track, and they looked like a danger signal. Red pants? Danger signal? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. By the time Edward arrived, Gordon was rather cross. You took your time, Edward. You're so old and slow, I'm surprised Sir Topham Hatt keeps you on. You're not moving very quickly yourself, Gordon. <laughs> Gordon was still fuming as Edward pushed him up the hill. <laughs> Aren't you even gonna say thank you? Why is Gordon so ungrateful? He doesn't even say thank you when I give him a push. He only says how old and unreliable I am. Maybe it's time we taught that big engine a lesson. <laughs> That night in the sheds, Thomas and the other engines were teasing Gordon about what had happened. And the only reason he stopped was because he saw some red pants. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon claims to be fast and reliable, but he still needed my help to get over the hill. I didn't really need your help, Edward. You just happened to be there, that's all. I'm very reliable and exceedingly fast. Is that so? <laughs> I'd like to see you go faster than me. <gasps> <laughs> go faster than you? <laughs> Don't be silly, Thomas. That's too easy. Very well. 
You just try and follow me tomorrow morning. No problem at all. I'll even give you a ten-minute head start. The other engines thought Thomas was being very silly if he thought he could go faster than Gordon. The next morning, Thomas met Gordon at Knapford Station as agreed. Ready, Gordon? You'd better get going, Thomas. I did promise you a ten-minute head start, remember? <laughs> I remember. I do hope you know what you're doing, Thomas. We don't want to look silly. Don't worry. Everything is under control. <laughs> Thomas was out ahead on the main line, but he knew Gordon was going to catch up soon. Thomas, I can see Gordon behind us. He's going to pass us. We'll see about that. Pull onto the other track, Thomas. Express coming through. Oh, no. That's not what we agreed, Gordon. You said you'd follow me across the island. Follow you? But, but, oh, can't you go any faster? Thomas could go faster, but he didn't. And when they got to Gordon's Hill, Thomas started to go even slower. Speed up, Thomas! Speed up! I don't want to get stuck again! But Thomas didn't speed up. He went slower and slower until... No! I'm stuck again. <laughs> it looks like I'm going faster than you after all. <laughs> oh... Hello, Gordon. Have you given up following Thomas already? Thomas tricked me, Edward. He went too slow. Oh, dear. But I must say, you don't seem very reliable. Always getting stuck on your own hill. Wait, Edward! You need to give me a push. Oh, but I didn't think you needed any help from me. After all, I'm so old and unreliable. But I do need your help. I promise not to call you old or unreliable anymore. Please. Okay, Gordon. I think you've learned your lesson now. And what do you say? Oh, the indignity. Sorry? I mean, thank you. Thank you, Edward. You're welcome, Gordon. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you.